Hey everyone. So today I want to talk about cutting things out in Photoshop. No, don't ask me about cutting out hair, especially curly hair or wispy hair. I don't do that. Other people do that and they do it well, <laughs> but I don't like cutting out hair. But today we're going to talk about cutting out a tulip and this is something I do a lot. Uh, truth be told, anything that has a really smooth edge like the tulip here is going to be wildly easier than something that has a fuzzy edge. Uh, that is a whole nother video. But anyway, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to head over to Photoshop and cut it out over there. But first, I'm going to show you a pullback quickly of this area. This is my back door. Uh, it's like a, a back porch where we dump our shoes, grocery bags, recycling. Uh, it doesn't even have finished windows <laughs> back here. We have glass windows. They're just really, really old from like 1911. So we just have some plastic here for insulation. I mean, it's just, it's literally a utility area. Uh, but there is a cupboard and I store things like blenders, po instant pots, dog food, and things like that back here. Uh, so anyway, I have my Westcott Flex mat here and then a backdrop. It can be anything. I use black and white foam core. This is from a company called Medium and then they changed it to Replica. Uh, I've had this one for many years. And then a third hand tool, which just sort of, poises the, the flower in whatever position that I want it to be. All right, so we're back in Photoshop. How do I cut this out? And why would I want to do that? Well, I want to make the background darker because I was using fairly deep depth of field. All of the details of the backdrop are kind of showing through and I just sort of want to minimize them. So I want to put a black layer, like a black solid color layer over or behind the picture of the tulip. So the first thing I want to do is cut it out. And uh, because it is such a defined shape, I'm going to use the object selection tool or it's object selection tool, uh, which helps you cut it out. And then um, I'm going to use just the rectangle option. If you go up to the upper menu, you can use the rectangle or the lasso tool. And it just depends on what you're cutting out. In this case, it's, it's so obvious what the subject is that it shouldn't be, be a problem with the marquee type tool here. Okay, now one of the things it did, it does a really good job of, of ca catching the major lines, but on the inside there are some spaces that, that didn't work very well. So I, what I want to do is I want to uh, remove certain parts from the selection. For instance, this line kind of goes through here. I want to remove this area there. So there's several options. There's the main one, add to selection, remove from selection and intersect with selection. I want subtract from selection. And then I'm going to use at this point the lasso tool, which is going to help me uh, pick just what I want to remove. And so I'm going to go through here and just kind of go like that. And it, it picks right along the edge there. Uh, down here, I want to add to selection. So I'm going to grab the line, go up to this corner and down, and it bumps it out. Again, I want to remove from selection right here. Just outline the space, outline the space, and it just bumps it in. Right here, if I zoom in, you can see it's not quite catching the edge like that. See, and sometimes you don't have enough pixels, so you kind of have to go bigger. And if I see that, it's just going to be, so that might be something I'm going to have to fix with a mask later. Add to selection to catch the corner here. Oh, didn't do a very good job. So sometimes I have to go like that. That did better. Oh, remove from selection. This one may not register. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it registered. Okay. Kind of bumpy edge there. like that. And then there are little areas on the inside here that let the backdrop come through like right here. And this is sort of an interior spot. Again, I'm removing the background from the selection. It does a pretty good job like that. And then here's a big one. I just do my best to kind of go along it. Okay, so that's pretty good. This is still bugging me here. Let's see if it'll let me go. Yeah, it, if it doesn't have enough pixels, it just won't do it. So then I'm going to layer 
via copy. So right click on it, layer via copy. And now we have it selected. And it's pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, but a big help with this is that I'm not moving it or, or changing its position. So the, the real flower is underneath it. The, the problem is, is that I'm gonna go in here and make a darker background. So I'm just gonna put a solid color of black on it like that and then lower the opacity to let some of the backdrop through but really make it pop. So now I have to go in here and see if there's anything amiss. I'm gonna go back up to the flower layer and add a layer mask. And with my brush tool and a very small brush and a black mask selected, I can go in here and clean up. Oops, that I didn't do a very good job there. I was talking and talking and masking is like talking and chewing gum with me. No, just kidding. It just requires a little effort. But I can go in here and clean up the edge. And there was that one, I think it was over here that it, it needed a little bit of cleanup because it just wasn't registering the pixels. I do have it set at 50% opacity, so I could set it to 100%, which make it go faster. But remember, I lowered the opacity of the, the black layer underneath, so just double check everything. And I think there was something down here. I wanna have a white mask. Or, yeah, what do I want to do there? Okay, so I I want the regular flower to show through. So let's use a black mask. Okay, that's not what I want to do. White mask. Yeah. Um, I wonder if that's the me. Okay, so this is I need to remove the black. So now I'm dead back on the black layer. And I need to have a white or a black mask for that. There we go. So you kind of have to bop back and forth just to see. If you see anything amiss, you have to figure out where is that happening? And where do I have to mask to make it to fix that? Right here. Like that. So that's looking good. Maybe a little bit more in here. You can hear my trackpad. I should be using my Wacom pen, but I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so let me check it against my original that I did here. So this is the original. Let me zoom in and see if I have any weirdness. See, there is a little bit of weirdness down there. I didn't quite fix that part. I caught it in the video and there's a little bit right there and there's a big splotch right there. Okay, so that's not cool. I have to come and fix uh, this one, the PSD of this one uh, before I save it out again. But anyway, that is cutting it out in Photoshop. All right, thanks guys.